Joyce officials have been working to revitalize Seattle's waterfront area. That much is clear, but now after what seems like endless construction, we're learning that two highly anticipated project elements will soon become open to the public and it could happen within about a month. The road going being from blocked off to this side being open and that side being blocked off and it's just it's it's been kind of a crazy mess. It's easy to lose your way on Alaskan way. It's so confusing for people who aren't from here to try to explain to them how to get to the market easily. Confusion caused by construction. All of the waterfront has been torn up. But good news from the city's waterfront Seattle team. This transportation choke point near the aquarium will soon get some relief. A team member telling me they do expect to open Elliott Way near the end of this month, adding there will be two vehicle lanes in each direction. Finally able to traverse between industrial areas south and north of downtown without getting interrupted by train crossings at Broad Street. You can see the new entry building. And then there's this $467 million Coleman dock project in the works for six years now. More on the horizon now after the ferry terminal building opened. This is all sort of that lead up that connects that building to Alaskan Way and involves this elevated walkway. And that walkway is slated to also open to the public before summer. I'd say optimistically mid-May. The public will enjoy it. There's obviously going to be a new promenade here that the city's constructing. You could see where they're putting sidewalks in. There's going to be bicycle. They call them cycle tracks. That sidewalk will widen out. Then there'll be uh, parking along here. Then he says they'll finish concrete work on the ground level and remove the temporary steel structures by the end of the year. When people will kind of start forgetting all this construction that was going on. And Sowers says that he also expects the Marion Street pedestrian bridge to be open by Labor Day. That will connect people from First Avenue to the ferries. Reporting live on the waterfront, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.